That's why I got elected. And you did this all by yourself? Yeah. Well, Anushka helped me design the posters, but the rest's all down to me. Just a bit funny, that's all. Why can't you just be pleased for me? The next day, Herod rewarded everyone's faith in him, just like Anushka said he should. He sorted out the lunchtime movie club. And the gaming zone. He even got Quinn to approve new water slides for the school pool. Herod was the talk of the school, and he knew it. Here's a man! I'm glad you're here. We have a lot to discuss. This isn't going to be another lecture about the heat in an 8B's form room, is it? It needs to be fixed, Herod. It's important. Important things are boring, so we shouldn't do them. That doesn't really make sense. Look, Herod, you've got a chance to turn the school around. And I am. I'm going to have water slides. And they're great fun, but... I want to be the year rep who's remembered for putting fun back into this school. Not the one who fixed the heating. So what do you want to do next? Two words. Monkey day. Monkey day? We'll hire a load of monkeys to hang out at the school. It'll be cool. <laughs> monkeys are nature's funny guys. That's a really interesting idea. But it's the kind of thing that will give April and Martin a field day. Yeah. But who voted for them? Nobody. He voted for me. Everybody. But I'm not sure everybody expected you to fill the school with monkeys. Well, I'm year rep, and I want to have a monkey day so tough. And it's your job to find them. How many do you reckon? 200? Herod, this is insane. I thought you were my friend. Friends help each other. You are my friend. OK, I'm looking into hiring some monkeys. Cool. Herod wasn't the only sharky keen to get his own way. Look, I say we reset the scene in the Regency era, so Romeo can be Darcy and Juliet can Boring. be... Boring! Do you even know Pride and Prejudice? Do you know Zombie Ninjas 3? That's not a book. So, the whole point is to take out all that slushy stuff and give it a new twist. Look, G, you might be happy going into the family business, but I actually want to do something with my life, which is why I don't want to fail this assignment. What exactly is my family business, Hazel? From what I've heard, doing anything to avoid working for a living. And you really believe that? Fine. Then I won't bother doing any work for our assignment either. Jeannie wasn't the only Sharky whose reputation was being tarnished. Herod Sharky, get to my office right now. You're going to be late for the year rep meeting. Quinn wants to talk to me about some stupid talk shop thing. You'll have to stand in for me. I can't. I'll have to get up in front of all those people. Just nod every now and then and say you agree. That's what I do. Sharky, in here now. We'll be fine. I take it you've seen this? <laughs> Just goes to show the wrong man won that election. <laughs> wrong girl, surely. Oh, Herod. Look at it as a blessing. Herod will lose his role as year rep, and the more deserving candidate will take over. Moi. <laughs> Surely not even Herod would be that stupid. Memo to all year representatives. Please note that you have unlimited free access to the school tuck shop. Feel free to stuff your face. Signed, Mrs Quinn. Told you. I didn't send this memo. Maybe you did. And you forgot. So why were you the only year rep to receive it? Perhaps you like me the best. I am prepared to accept that you were the victim of a prank. I will, however, stress that if you put another foot wrong, I will not hesitate to take disciplinary action. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, yeah, OK. Can we talk about my plans for Monkey Day now? <sighs> Get out. Herod, what happened? What do you think happened? She let me off. Just like that? Just like that. I'm untouchable, me. How was the meeting? It was OK. We discussed all kinds of fascinating things. Budgets, plans for the school expansions. Did you mention Monkey Day? I um, may have forgotten to mention that. Well, I ain't giving up on it. 
See? Quinn won't be able to resist. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ah, 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 ah. <sighs> Look at that idiot. I was robbed. Yeah, you'd make a much better monkey than him. Had Nushka created a monster? Like so many politicians before him, all signs pointed to Herod becoming intoxicated with power. And it seemed to be getting worse. You're probably not interested, but you might want to read this. If it's that poxy pride and prejudice rubbish, then you're right. I'm not interested. Actually, I think you'll find it's not rubbish, and considering you're going to get half my mark, the least you could do is read it. I'm not interested. You are the most infuriating person I've ever met. I don't know why I bother. <sighs> Herod may have survived the tuck shop incident, but his world was about to come crashing down. Your brother, tell me now. What? What do you think? With me, boy. <laughs> Red knew that Herod had a reputation but he couldn't believe he'd be so reckless. Though it was kind of hard to ignore the evidence. This is the bill for the damage to Quinn's car. How is Dad going to pay for that? I don't know. What were you thinking, Herod? Why would I do something like that when I was enjoying being near Rick? So how do you explain all of these? I don't know, but it wasn't me. Maybe I've got a look-alike or something. Don't be stupid. It's like he's telling the truth. I mean, look at this picture. That is him. Looks like him. But let's see for a minute, it isn't him. Right, yeah, it's his look-alike. Photos can be faked. So there's one set of prints on all of these, which could belong to whoever set Herod up. My money's on Martin in April. They're both against him in the election. It must have been really embarrassing to lose to him. It could be up for their revenge. It's possible. And Martin does know his way around photo editing software. Yeah. Mia uses him as a IT guy. I'm sorry, Red, but these have been passed around the whole school. There's no one set of prints linking them. So that's that, then? Not necessarily. I found something. Look at Herod's head. The shadows don't match the lighting in the rest of the picture. Looks like someone pasted Herod's head on someone else's body. Whose body? We might be looking for two people. One to take the picture and one to pose as our fake Herod. Martin and April. It has to be. We've got to get this to Quinn. My family reputation's at stake. Which is why we need to be certain. I'll check out the crime scene tomorrow, and you can check in with Mia. See what she's going to say for this Martin guy. OK? Yeah. OK. We didn't have a lot to go on, but it was a start. For Herod Sharkey, we couldn't solve the case quickly enough. Herod. Wait up, Herod. What do you want? You OK? Peachy. I'm sorry Mrs Quinn fired you. You were a brilliant year rep. As some of us sap gets a go at an hour. Actually, there's something I need to tell you. Unless you find the person who stitch me up, now you ain't interested. I would don't be like that. Oh, excuse me for being in a bad mood. But somehow, my dad has to find 200 quid to pay for damage to Quinn's car. What? Quinn sent him the bill. But how insurance should cover it? Well, it's coming out of our pockets instead. What else was it you wanted to ask me? I just hope we can still be friends. Whatever.